Привіт, привіт! My name is Ina and welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. In today's video, I would like to answer you the most popular question. Why so many Ukrainians speak Russian? But before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and leave your comments below about it. Guys, I'm sick of your messages like Ina, why do you teach Ukrainian? Who actually needs it? Hmm, it's better to learn Russian in Ukraine or hmm, I consider that people who have uh, friends or relatives in the Western Ukraine only they need to learn Ukrainian. Ugh, please stop it. Don't send me this kind of messages anymore because I am a teacher of Ukrainian language at the second one and I have been teaching it for six years now and I will continue to teach it. And uh, in this video I would like to explain you why so many Ukrainians actually speak Russian. And I will give you some statistics but only at the beginning and in this video I would like to go a little bit deeper and give you a history overview and how actually uh, Russia uh, influences on Ukraine so much and we have been under their um, control, uh, under their aggressive attitude to us for the last 400 years. So let's get it started. Поехали! In 2021, 78% of respondent Ukrainians considered Ukrainian their native language and only 18% answered that their language is Russian. However, Russian media seeks to portray Ukraine as a country that is geographically, ethnically and politically divided by linguistic basis. They say that Ukrainians from eastern and southern Ukraine are Russian-speaking and only some central regions and western Ukraine speak Ukrainian. This stereotype is partly based on reality eastern and southern Ukraine is rather Russified, but not because many Ukrainians live there, but because of a long period of occupation, first by the Russian Tsardom then the Russian Empire and finally the Soviet Union. Let's explore how it happened. 17th century. In 1654, Eastern and Central Ukraine, including Kyiv, first came under Russian influence. Cossacks pledged their loyal to the Tsar of Russia, Pryaslip Consul. Over the next century, Cossack Getman gradually lost their autonomy and were absorbed by the Russian Empire. The rules of the Russian Empire constantly suppressed the Ukrainian language. The manipulative lie about the Ukrainian language being a dialect of the Russian language began that time. It was clear that in order to conquer the people, you need to destroy their identity, language, culture and traditions. 18th century. 1720s Peter I banned printing in the Ukrainian language and ordered all books to be rewritten from Ukrainian into Russian. 1763 Catherine II banned the teaching of Ukrainian in Kiev Mohila Academy, the center of enlightenment at that time. 1775 The destruction of the Zaporizhka siege, Cossacks, protestate, and closing of Ukrainian schools. 19th century, 1847, increased prosecution of Ukrainian language and culture, the prohibition of the best works of Shevchenko, Kulish, Kostomaro and other writers. 1863, Valuyev Circular, a secret decree ukaz of the Minister of Internal Affairs of the Russian Empire Pyotr Valuyev, prohibit publication of Ukrainian spiritual and popular educational literature, saying there wasn't, couldn't have been a separate little Russian language. Little Russian language, they're how they called Ukrainian language at that time. How do you like it, guys? 1870, 
Dmitry Tolstoy, Minister of Education of the Russian Empire, commented that the ultimate goal of education for all people of other descent is their Russification. 1876 Alexander II Ems Decree, announced in Bad Ems, Germany, banned Ukrainian literature, publication and import, stage performance and songs in Ukrainian. 1881 Prohibition of teaching in public schools and conducting church sermons in Ukrainian. 1888 Alexander III banned the usage of Ukrainian language in official institutions and Ukrainian given names. 1895 Prohibition by the Russian Empire main administration of publishing Ukrainian language children's books. 20th century 1914, the decree of Nicholas II, the last Tsar of the Russian Empire, prohibiting Ukrainian press. 1914-1916, Russification campaign in Western Ukraine. More than 100 Southern Ukrainian activists, scientists, teachers, priests, writers were sent to Siberia. In the 20th century, the Russian Empire collapsed after the World War I, but was replaced with a different, aggressive state, the Soviet Union. At the beginning of the century, there was a short period of Ukrainization, the practice of increasing the usage and development of the Ukrainian language and culture in education, publishing, government and religion. But it was short. Already in 1926 the persecution of the Ukrainian nationalists started and in 1933 Stalin ordered to stop Ukrainization. 1932-1933 the Great Famine Holodomor was a famine in Soviet Ukraine that killed millions of Ukrainians. This year is one of the most tragic pages in Ukrainian history. 1930-1940, a period of the executed Renaissance, the execution or repression by Stalin's totalitarian regime targeting an entire generation of Ukrainian writers and artists. Among them, Mykola Khvalyovy, Les Kurbas, Mykola Kulesh. 1970, order of the Ministry of Education of the USSR on academic theories defense only in the Russian language. 1974, the Communist Party of the Soviet Union announced that the creation of the new historical community, Soviet people. Therefore, there were no Ukrainians, Russian or Belarus anymore, only Soviet folk. 1960-1980, there was a movement of the Soviet dissidents, the intellectuals, poets, teachers and artists who were against the government, were uh, persecuted, imprisoned and killed. Among them Lena Kostenko, Vasil Simonenko, Vasil Stus and Ala Horska. 1990. The Russian language was granted official status and proclaimed the only nationwide language. In 1991, Ukraine gained its independence, but the influence by the aggressive Russian state never stopped. There were a number of campaigns aimed to promote the importance of the Russian language and culture in Ukraine, especially in the eastern territories. 2012. The Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine adopted the law on state language policy, which aimed to extend the usage of the regional languages, therefore to raise the use of Russian. In 2014, the Russian Federation occupied Crimea and started the war in Donetsk and Lugansk regions. As a result, 14,000 people were killed by 2021. 2014 till now, the Ukrainian language has been suppressed and still is highly discriminated in Crimea, Luhansk and Donetsk regions. People with the pro-Ukrainian positions were forced to flee, otherwise they were uh, persecuted, tortured or killed. What comes for the rest of Ukrainian territory? People there started to realize how important it is to protect your language in the context of the war. There is a cross-regional consensus 
on the need to support the Ukrainian language further. Despite the attempts of the Russian uh, propaganda to spread the myth about the Ukrainian language as the dialect of Russian and Polish. And therefore, there is the myth that the Ukrainian nation doesn't exist. All of it brings the opposite result. More and more Ukrainians have switched to Ukrainian and are proud to call themselves Ukrainians. I hope now you understand better why so many Ukrainians still speak Russian, but for living in Ukraine or communicating with Ukrainians, you need to know the Ukrainian language. And our school Speak Ukrainian is here to help you with it. My dear friends and students, I wanted to record this video a long time ago and finally I did it. And now you clearly understand why so many Ukrainians speak Russian and I gave you a history overview how uh, Russia influences Ukraine for so many um, years. And uh, yes, we continue to fight for our freedom still now and for our culture, identification and language. So if you want to support Ukraine and if you have some connections with Ukraine, I hope you will uh, spread uh, Ukrainian language across the whole world and to be proud speaker of it. And I will be happy to reach your goal. And uh, in April 2022, I launched the third edition of my course from absolute beginner to a confident speaker. If you want to start learning Ukrainian language from scratch or if you uh, learn it before but you're still um, not confident in it, I invite you to uh, join my course um, this spring and I'm sure it will be very interesting for you and very useful. And if you want to get more uh, video lessons from me, then check out my Instagram account Speak Ukrainian Language. If you like this video, please share it on your social media and you can also uh, support me on patreon.com. And if you want to get uh, Ukrainian learning materials, textbooks, flashcards, courses, please uh, check out my website speaker.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it and um, love you from Ukraine, your teacher Ina. Papa, bye bye.